Hello, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this packed video short, we're going to cover the pack processes for new hires. PACT is an acronym. Performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. When the PAC processes are targeted at new hires, it's typical that my clients have me conduct a curriculum architecture design project to allow them to, first of all, understand what are the performance requirements for these new hires, what are the enabling knowledge and skills that the new hires need, what content do they have that can be salvaged and reused either as is or after modification, and where are the, their completely gaps in terms of the content available. This allows the client to do the implementation planning, the prioritizing, and the costing out of the downstream efforts in the fourth phase of the curriculum architecture design effort, leading to multiple and rapid and simultaneous, if necessary, modular curriculum development and instructional activity development projects to speed the development of performance-based instruction and information to help people perform the requirements of the job. Here is the training and development path example. The first phase of this addresses the immediate survival skills necessary. Phases three, two, phases two, three, and four then defer some of that training. So ideally, new so ideally, new performers would get the phase one training as soon as possible. In this case, it says within the first two months. In months three through six, people would address phase two requirements, and in phase three, the next four months after that and in phase four training and content that was perceived to be needed somewhere in the two to fourth year for these people. So it took the new hires from onboarding in phase one to ongoing development in phases two, three, and four. On these training and development paths are various training and development events, formal training, unless it's content that could be, but is not yet available. In this case here, what's available is the Microsoft Visio Basics course, 16 hours, which is an elective under the recommendation area. The next course is partially available, and it's Senior Manager's Orientation for Zone Managers. It is mandatory. It is intended to be a structured on-the-job training via a certified coach and not just any coach. It'll be two hours when it's graded and this suggests that some of the content exists but it's not in the final form necessary. This third example, How to Manage Safety for Zone Managers, is a highly recommended course. It too would be a structured on the job via a certified coach but nothing exists on this and it's been guessed to be one hours in length when it's available. I hope that this video short and the series have been helpful to you in helping you to establish a practice of performance-based training and development, learning and knowledge management. I have been conducting, writing, and presenting on these methods since the early 1980s. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in much greater detail.